What is up guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well and are handling these difficult times way better than the people we're about to take a look at in today's video. Because over the past week, people, or especially Karens, clearly don't know how to act right. The first situation we're gonna take a look at actually happened here in the state I live. Woo, let's let's go Arizona. We're, we're like, we're like the West Coast Florida, minus the humidity and ocean. But what happened at this fine target in the Phoenix area? Finally, we meet the end of the road. I've been looking forward to all my life. So, uh, Target? I'm not playing. Hey, this This over. This is over. Yay! Over. Woo! Yay! Jesus Christ, for all my retail homies out there, I am so sorry you guys have to deal with this on the regular. I know it says nothing about fending off Karens who are low on essential oils but refuse to wear a mask in the Target job description. So let's just face the truth here. If you're a Target employee in 2020, you're just an underpaid babysitter for middle-aged white women and TikTokers doing random challenges in your store. Oh my God, bar, that's a bar. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not doing it. We don't we don't want any of this anymore. This is over. No. Uh -uh. No. You why? Why? You let everybody else do it. You let everybody else do it. Why can't do it because I'm a blonde white woman? Forty thousand dollars Rolex? I don't have the Ah, a woman bragging about having a $40,000 Rolex creating a mess for someone who doesn't even make that a year to clean up. That really shows you no matter how much money you have, you can't buy class. All I see is a bum with a Rolex. But since that video went viral, there's now actually been an update to this whole case where the police actually went to visit her at her home. And our dear Target Karen live streamed their visit herself, painting herself out as a person with a screw or two loose again. Do people not learn? There was something wrong with people in 2020. There's, there's something wrong with people in 2020.5. I think we just need to unplug and, and plug everything back in again. We're, we, this is all broken. It, it, it's officially time to reboot the year. They drained the swamp. They did everything that Donald Trump was elected to do. You can read about it on Twitter. You can read about it in the news. All of the, all of the deep state politicians, all of that stuff has happened. It's done. So I was hired to be the, the QAnon spokesperson. Is coming here today? I cannot, it's a secret, what do you mean? Like, I, I can't give you any classified information. You're not, Look, you're, well, not you're not, you're not, you're not Clarence. You're not Clarence. Okay. You don't. You're, you're a spokesperson, yeah. correct? For the, for, the, for the White House, yeah. So we have two officers reacting to a Karen saying she's a spokesperson for the deep state White House, whatever that is. You know for a fact these officers are smirking under their masks because clearly someone from the deep state White House w was sent to the target clearance rack to tear down all the masks. Yeah. I like how she says that as if they're gonna go, oh, okay, yeah, now it all makes sense. I'm so sorry. Oh, people need help this year. Okay. But I called Donald Trump and asked him if you, if you don't believe me. Do you like, have his phone number? Do I have his phone number? I'm on the phone with him all the time. I'm fired. Okay, I think we have enough here, okay? Can you put down your phone? No, I'm not gonna put down my phone. Like I said, I'm wired. All this is being broadcast live. It is? Yeah. Okay, where is it being broadcast? Everywhere, all over the world. All over the world? All over the world on Instagram, yeah. Millions of viewers. So, say cheese. You're on candid camera. Okay, thank you. CBI or 1039? CBI. Okay. Melissa, what I'm gonna have you spin around and just put your phone down. What? It's okay. I need you to put your phone down. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Great. You're doing it to me because I'm Jewish. Bro, I swear to God, Karens are searching long and hard to feel oppressed. Well, hey, I mean, at least karma still exists in 2020.5. <laughs> TMZ even covered this under the title, Arizona QAnon Karen destroys target face mask display, claims her $40,000 Rolex off the staff. I, I hate to break it to her, the Rolex didn't phase anyone. But for every target Karen, of course, there's gonna be a Walmart Wilbur. Don't touch him. Come on. That's a, that's a, that's a teenager, right? Dude. 
All right, this is actually flat out disgusting behavior. Apparently the Walmart employee was shoved into the shelf because the employee who was shoved into the shelf, um, his pants were apparently sagging a bit. So that I guess uh, deeply angered this man who then shoved the employee against the shelf. Like that would solve anything. Like go file a complaint to Walmart if that bothered you so much. Don't take it upon yourself and shove the young gentleman into the shelf. Ah, that angered me to see. Holy sh- But before we move on, I need to give this young man a massive shout out for somehow keeping his composure and not knocking this delusional man off his feet. Oh, and shout out his friend for actually being a good friend, making sure he didn't do anything stupid to put his himself or his job at risk. Again, retail workers, I am so sorry you guys have to deal with these people on the regular. I can only imagine how much of this actually happens that we don't see because it's just not filmed and posted onto Twitter for the whole world to see. And now for the final clip we're gonna take a look at today where the Karens attack the dentists. Yes, which is a bold move. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine attacking uh, someone who's going to perform a root canal or something like that on you. Uh, before that happens. Imagine like uh, waking up after a surgery and uh, you have no teeth left. Wh which is honestly what some of these deserve. <laughs> what, the dentists? No. Oh. Karens. God. <laughs> well, let's see this clip. I'm not raising You're your teeth. You're gonna work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting but, my teeth clean. But it's about the safety of, our, of all of our- Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not You're not filling out the form to letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our- You skin. can't take and my temperature. temperature. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't- You're not, not an MD. We're not okay? allowed to- We can't no. see you. That's I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the air manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? I, I can't. Yeah. They're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's not it's a law. It's not a law. This is a medical law. No, it's a dental office. I feel like all of these Karens are just sadly mixing inconvenience with oppression. Period. Put that on a t-shirt. Sure, you, you have a right to wear a mask, but the business owners, you know, private business, business owners on a private business, you're on private property, so they reserve the same right to not serve you. You would think that Karens would know that the most, actually, because it, isn't that like a stance of, oh, if you're on my property, I have the right to you. I don't know if you have to bleep that or not, if I it's kept in. Yeah. Someone's private property, and don't they always say stuff like that, and so then... Yeah, they just don't understand what freedom is. That they, they, don't, they don't realize that freedom applies to everyone within the borders of this country. Some people, man, some people. You said, sure, you have the right to wear a mask, but these places or private businesses have the right to. Oh, oh yeah. When I think you meant, you, sure, you have the right to not wear a mask. Well, yeah, sure, you have the right to wear or not to wear it, but depending on if you're wearing or not wearing a mask, I mean, even the businesses are allowed to either serve or not serve you. Yeah. But, if they don't think everyone else is also going through a rough time through all this, they're, they're clearly delusional. Wearing masks have been an easy way to help reduce spread. While we're still at all time highs of case numbers in America, we need all the help we can get, including wearing masks, including washing hands after going out in public. Do them, please. Those two simple steps can literally make a massive impact on your community. But hey, that's my opinion, I guess. So feel free to agree or disagree with me in the comments down below. If you're new here, I welcome you to my channel. It'll be awesome if you subscribed. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can find me as a Tozy on Instagram or Twitter. Links will be down in the description down below. But on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Got me like I'm barely sober. Slip right past like I barely know ya. Whip so fast like I whip Daytona. Got a bitch so bad that she grip my shoulder. Life flips so fast like a roller coaster. Shit not sweet like a cherry soda. Kid on switch like a new persona. Fucked up, wouldn't do shit over. Move
past looking at the upside Late night and she called me up like Feel good but I stumble sometimes Ain't sleep yet but it's after sunrise I'ma pop off like I'm on the front lines Never been stressed no I'm gonna be alright I'ma call shots like I've been the umpire At the crib like I'm ducking gunfire When my pockets real thick like udon Sat real tall won't fold like futon I just packed the crib like U-Haul Had to up and dip get it going like move on